Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and I couldn't resist starting a new playthrough before 0.17 hits. Pretty excited about that. And we are going to make biters great again. Yes, we are. Um, I know that's a bit of an overused joke, but we are going to do it because we have mods to help us in that way. So um, the main mod we're using, I, I tested play with um, a very nice friend of mine uh, and we're having a great time. And that is alien loot economy. And uh, this, this is, this is good. Uh, kill aliens to get alien ore. use alien ore to craft powerful modules or items like ammo. You can use the biters to kill the biters. This is going to be my revenge for 0 0.12.35, where wah, 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 all the darn time, no more. We're going to get revenge on those fighters. <laughs> anyway, we also have Afraid of the Dark, which makes it uh, lighter, uh, lighter on the screen for YouTube. We have Alien Biomes, one of my favorite mods of all time by Irondelle. I love this mod. Uh, it changes the terrain and has new trees and all kinds of other stuff. And then we have the high res version, which is going to be on. Uh, we have auto deconstruct, which we absolutely love. Uh, big bags. I um, Sometimes there's a lot of ore on the ground, so we are going to use the big bags. I figured, why not? Um, expanded robot technology. We're going to try this out, adds in more text for worker and construction robots, including speed, carrying capacity, trash slots, and lodgy slots. FNEI. <sighs> nice, nice thing. In case we can't figure out whatever goes into what should be fine, though, but uh, we'll see. Fast filter fill uh, for train wagons. Really nice. Long reach. I'm going to use long reach. I normally think this is pretty cheaty, uh, but <laughs> when you have to uh, uh, get the belts into the biter farms, yeah, we need long reach. Nanobots. I love Nanobots by Nexla. This is, I just love this mod. Um, natural evolution enemies. Right. So the biters we're going to kill uh, are also going to be <laughs> natural evolution enemies. They are much more difficult. Um, yeah, more, more of a challenge than what vanilla can offer you. Uh, run speed toggle. We are going to use a run speed toggle mostly because the map that I've chosen has a lot of sand in, in the beginning area. So I'm just going to go a uh, run speed of two because sand slows you down by a heck of a lot. Uh, this is by Omnifarious. I really love this. It enables you to just use the console command, but you just press F1 and you change between three different speed slots. Also, since this is going to be a short series, I plan to end when 017 hits. I feel figured we could use the extra run speed. We have squeak through, of course, I love that one. And to do list, love this one too. Uh, and upgrade builder and planner by Clonin. Wonderful. I'm so glad upgrade builder and planner is coming to vanilla. All right. So I'm going to show you the new game map that we have. This is the exchange string that I use, and it shows us what resource settings were chosen here. We have basically frequency very low in all of them, size very big, richness very good. We have the terrain settings. These are all of the alien biome options here. We have enemy bases, frequency normal, size big, richness very good. I don't know what the richness does, if it anything. The starting area is big because I don't have anyone to help me. So I have to kill all the biters myself. Um, so I am going to have to manage pollution. It's going to be scary. Uh, water is low, uh, but big. Uh, the map doesn't show much of this. So uh, there's going to be a lot of defense going on. Trees are normal. And, um, and regular richness. I didn't choose to surround myself in forest. We have cliffs on, uh, and then all the other stuff in the alien biomes mod is at, at uh, normal levels. Advanced settings, I believe, I think these are all just standard uh, settings. So uh, yeah, generate preview. This is basically what the map looks like. We have this uh, purple stuff, which is kind of sandy, sandy, but it's kind of an interesting map. Why not? Um, I, t I was struggling to find a color of a map that I haven't recently done. A lot of them were desert ones that came up. Um, but this is this is the plan here. This is our, our map. And we're starting in this small area in the beginning. There's very little coal, a little bit of iron and, uh, and copper. But we have this big, lovely double patch here. We got another iron thing here. Lots of oil to the east, which is going to be great. Um, and then biter camps outside the start area. There are some really nice ones. What we're looking for is nice square ones uh, that we can surround with turrets and walls and have little farms for ourselves to uh, <clears throat> partake in. But you'll notice <laughs> there are no trees on this map. So this is going to be pretty rough. So let's go ahead and just play and uh, see how we get on. 
we have arrived on the alien planet and here we are okay let's look at our map here okay there is our copper we have uh iron ore and a little bit of crude oil up here our coal is way down at the bottom so i think we should probably oh wow yeah we need we need a pickaxe that's a good thing it's so funny how like you forget about uh how things are arranged and what you need to do first whenever you get to a new place but we're gonna try to mitigate that a little bit oh that's actually a good spot uh whoo come on go on there we go Okay, let's go ahead and chop some trees and or get some stone. I'm looking for rocks that have coal and stone. There don't appear to be any big rocks around here. Let's go look. Come on, come on. Big rock, let's go. It's trees. I really don't want to get rid of the trees because um, they, uh, they'll shield us from the pollution. Going to generate a ton of pollution of course in the beginning you know what let's just get a couple of rocks this is so many of them here good gracious but i really like to find some with some coal in them so that we can power stuff a little bit better okay i'm not seeing any there this big rock nope of course not Jeez, it's so funny how like, there's like millions of rocks but no big rocks all right, let's get some of these uh, trees and dead trees and stuff. Because that may be our only choice until we can get to making uh, some miners to put on the um, the coal patch. All right, let's just do this. Let's put the uh, this wood in there. That'll be good. Perfect. But we can also chip off some of these uh, rocks because we do need the smelting uh, arrays. There we go. So I'll put this up here so we can even see how much uh, stone we're getting. Oh, it, uh, it actually tells us, isn't that nice? I keep forgetting about that. Okay. See if we can get some more iron plates from this uh, thing here. What do we got here? Ah, we can make two burner miners. That is enough. That is definitely enough, at least to begin with. We'll go ahead and run it down and put those on the coal patch so we can start getting some automatic fuel made. Okay, it's all the way down there. That's not a big rock. No, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm still hopeful. It's like, no, we need our big rocks. But uh, this coal patch, though, as you notice, it is pretty darn small. Um, oh, whoopsies. Can I open this, please? There we go. There we go. All right. Still need this stone though, so we can go ahead and build ourselves some furnaces. There we go. And I'll just craft all of those for now. Hand crafting is always very nice. There we go. There we go. Okay, got a little bit of coal. Not much, but some. I'll get a couple more things of stone. So I think we got, okay, so we got 39 of those guys. I think we need 48 for a proper column. Uh, so I'll go ahead and make two times 48, which I think it would be 96 possibly, maybe. All right, there we go. Now, we have big bags, so the stack sizes on these things are going to be a little bit bigger. Now, that may cause us some issues later. I'm not quite sure if it's going to... I kind of forgot if it affects the stack sizes and machines or not, but we will see. And normally in, in places, I don't really like the big bags mod, but I feel like since we have a shortened time schedule, it's okay to use that kind of thing. And uh, we'll just have fun because this playthrough is going to be all about the fun. This is a ridiculous mod, which is, is really hilarious. So I hope you will enjoy it. I, uh, I definitely have uh, playing with my friend and we are, we are having a very, very good time. Oh my goodness. So um, yeah, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. Okay, take this out. I am going to need some of this wood for power poles. Oops, I forgot to take out the uh, the iron. Hello. Oopsies. Okay, we all went crazy WASD wrong. All right, there we go. Three of these, and we'll put down three of these. 
take away this thing because this is going to impede us later. All right, and get this going. And can I... There we go. All right, that's going to be... Yeah. We're also going to need some um, copper for power poles very shortly. Okay, let's take this rock out of here as well. So we'll get a miner down for that very soon. I yeah, would make more furnaces. In the beginning of the game, there's... Oopsies, come on. Can you please... Oh, that's right. Okay. I was shift right clicking, but it's actually shift left click. I was like, why the heck isn't this working? Hello. Look at this beautiful single red tree in the middle here. Oh, poor thing. It's probably going to die soon. I mean, pollution and all. I'm going to get some more wood. Good, good. All right. And can I make any more? No, I can't. Okay. It's fine. It'll be okay. Oh no, no pickaxe. There we go. Let's make another one. All right, so we've run out of coal in some of these machines here. Ah, there we go. We need two more mining drills. Let's just make all the mining drills actually. Uh, it's perfectly good to do that. Just grab some of this uh, stone. Well, not so much grabbing the stone as removing it from the uh, iron patch. And then the rest of those guys, I'm going to put some more on coal. And we also need to get maybe one for copper right now. We really don't need much on copper, but it's good to have a little bit at least. Okay, so we'll take this one and put it here. And I'm going to just give you... You know what? I'm going to steal some from... You know, trying to steal some. There's none to steal. No. Okay. Here, we'll take this one. Um, okay. Definitely not ideal. We, we really need more stuff. But we're going to get all the stuff very shortly. I think I allocated two for copper. And now I have an extra drill here. It's okay. That works. Works for me. All right, and those are going to get working very shortly. Good, very good. Nice. And I think I'd like to build a little bit of a starter base uh, to get things rolling along here. There we go. Nice. We'll put this one down in a bit. Okay, so then, um, let's go ahead and get one, two, three, four more for uh, iron. And uh, we may need two more for coal again. Oh, do we have any copper? Yes, we have copper. Excellent. I'm going to start making these power poles. There we go. Still have plenty of wood left for, for more power poles. Um, we just need the copper for it. Let's go down here. Set up the miners. There we go. Excellent. Wow, really? That's all there is? It's not a lot. No. <laughs> it's not a lot. It's like, no. How, what, how are we doing on pollution? I'm really curious about this because... Oh, wow. Wow. Yeah, we're going to have to have some research soon because dangerous biters lurk around the corner. That's for sure. So, okay, I want to... Oh, that's right. I, I was actually budgeting four for iron and two for the other. That's okay, though. We can have more of these. And let me just grab some more iron here. And I do want to start making the, um, the other things for the steam engines that we need. So we're going to have, say, 10 boilers and one pump so far. And then I guess I can make those two steam engines. All right. All right. And then these are just really not, not a happy thing. Not right now. No, no. Go ahead and make these boilers. Because I think, yeah, those do take, not boilers, stone furnaces. 
Ah, and here's the alien stuff. Oh, so far we can only make an alien mining drill. Those are actually quite useful. They have a uh, seven by seven area uh, of effect, which is nice. We have plenty of wood. We need to make probably power poles after this. Just kind of queue some up just in case. All right, and again, oops. Well, that weren't too good. There we go. Give it to you instead. Good. Okay, so we have 10 of these. We need 20 steam engines all together. Um, so the amount we have now is a little bit insufficient for this. Another two. Yeah, we need a lot of plates for this. All right, we'll just let those craft for the moment. And we also are going to need, we don't, we're, we don't need to do all of them at once, of course. It's probably better if we do just uh, a few. And then we can fill them in later when we have more stuff. So we definitely need to get the lab going. That's uh, going to be um, important. I think I'll set up the steam engines going to the left here. Set this guy going this way, and then we will do our boilers. Probably maybe there, starting. There we are. And of course, we need lots of pipes. Um, I also want to do underflowies, or under underground... What are they called? Pipe to ground. Pipe to ground it is. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's not great. That it does actually do like half a stack, which is a lot. So that's not really that ideal for this, to be honest. Not ideal at all. In fact, um, did I pick up the copper? No, I didn't. I could use more power poles, but I also need four labs. That sounds great. Sure, we'll do that. And I've completely forgotten... The I don't know if I got, forgot the iron or we just spent it all. Um, let's find out. All right, well, there's a little bit more left. Um, I would like to make the pipe to ground one of them, and then maybe we need like five of those or something. I don't know. And then some more power poles. Why not? And then we'll get our um, all that stuff working. Hello, coal miners. I'm back again to visit you. Yeah, I suppose with this mod, with especially with hand feeding stuff, it might actually be better to have even distribution. Though I'm not really crazy about that mod, it kind of drives me a bit crazy. But um, it's okay. It's um, sometimes it's it actually would be useful, I think, for this. Um, normally, I'm not really that bothered about it. But when you have huge stack sizes, uh, it does make a difference. Seventeen. I should just look on the outside because that's the way it really tells me what I have here. Six, okay. You can have some here. Good. All right, we'll just keep some on us and uh, spam click it when we need to. There we go. And we add, added some more. Okay. Fantastic. Labs are being created. Quite happy about this. Uh, right, and we can put some steam engines down here as well. Do we want to add... No, I don't think we need to. Not not with this design. Okay, there we are. And we'll have our power poles going through the middle here. There we go. And the pipes. And our underground. All right, and now the only thing we need left to do is get some coal in here to start this up and start making some science packs. Actually, I'll go up there and start making science packs. We need at least 10, I think, to start the very first thing, which is automation. There we go. There we go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Okay, I'll make 30 of these for now so that we can get all the things going. Let's go and get another load of coal real quick. There we are. And then I think I might want to put down the starter base, which I quite like. Oopsies. No, we're caught in the rocks. <laughs> Let's dig our way out. Okay, there we go. There we go. 
Now then, um... I... Do we have inserters yet? Yes. Oh, <gasps> we do. All right. We need, let's see, 10 inserters. In fact, I'm going to cancel these science packs here. I will let these continue. Um, but I really need a, let's get one of these and a wooden chest. Um, I think that's all I need. And then conveyor belts. Definitely need some conveyor belts here. Okay. And then we'll set up our labs here. I don't know how far they need to be apart. We may have to move those. We shall see. That's enough for now. Uh, I think we did like this. There we go. Okay. And because these co the coal is in such a large stack size, that's why I am doing this, putting the coal in the box. I'm going to put one boiler, one piece of coal in this boiler for now. And then that will power the inserter and the inserter will get the rest of the coal on the line here. And I think that's going to work. Great. Um, so now just get these science packs going. There we go. Just redistribute these. Very nice. And we have power and we have science. Yes. So now, uh, first thing we probably want to do is get some mining drills, like make these guys and uh, start to get things moving along to have actual production going on. Ah, so nice. So nice. All right. And I'll probably put those down there and then take this up by belts. Okay, let's get these a little bit organized here. Put the power poles there for now. Actually, power poles might go there-ish. Now, nah, put them, put them over there. And then here we want to have our uh, undergroundies. That was not an undergroundie. Hello. Undergroundies, please. Thank you. And splitters. Okay, great. Okay, that is finished. The next thing we always want to do is logistics. So we get the undergrounds and the splitters. Okay. Go. Let's get some coal in these guys here. What do we got here? Okay, there we go this one. Yeah, I never really thought about this whole thing with the... Oh, wow, that one is 123 coal, right? These have lots of coal, lots of lots of... Okay. All right. These are okay. Ah, there we go. There's one that needs. Has needs. There we go. I guess we can't... No. We can't uh, separate them out, unfortunately. I wonder if we could do that here, though. Yeah, we can. We can actually do that here. That's not too bad. So you can just do like this. No! <laughs> Minus 111 coal. It's like, no, you didn't do what I wanted you to do, thing. Behave. Okay. Let's get ourselves some assemblers. Make one assembler. Oh, we need copper. Let's grab some copper. Uh, and build more assemblers. We need more and more and more assemblers. Lots and lots of assemblers all over the place. Yes. Okay, let's build this here. We also need inserters. Let's cancel a few of these assemblers. We probably don't need 25 uh, to begin with, but uh, we will need some. And I think we can go with wooden chests. Well, iron chests are fine too, I guess. They'll be okay. Go ahead and take this belt down here. It's not going to be enough. That's okay. We'll get it. Get it going. It's a good time to do this since we're still crafting things. And uh, we do need to get a couple of these miners on coal at some point. Kind of getting, sneaking this this wood 
out of the world here. So we could make some power poles. Alright, we're still making these guys. Alright, come on guys. Let's go, 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 go. Alright, so we need red science here. And I think what we can do with this is have gears here. Because gears go into this. And then have another red science thingamajingy here, maybe. One, two, three. Or do we want to do it like that? I think we can do it like that. Then we can have one here, one there, and these guys will be off to the side a bit, like this. Okay, very nice. Nice. Paste that one in, and then we get our uh, inserters here, and then one here. Here, oh, wait, we want need one, two. Right there is where we need the box to be. So we'll go ahead and get a box here and here. And this should be it. Um, okay. So all we need to do is put some half of this and half of that. And again, put both of those into there and there we go. And we're going to make stuff. And science is going to happen automatically. We don't have any more that we had crafted in our inventory. So that's okay, though. All right. And now we will go and get some iron for belts. Make sure stuff is working. We have science automatically made. This is great. Well, almost. Almost automatically made. Uh, let's see. We need to give you some of this. Oh. Take a half of this. All right, we got pl wow, 438 plates. Very nice. Oh, and I forgot the uh, the copper. And now we can also put down some assemblers to make things like gears and other stuff like that. Let's just go ahead and put down one or two of those here. Let's put like half of these just to make gears. And maybe an assembly, quick assembly to make um copper and green circuits there we go there we go and that'll get that one going on to this and start making green circuits okay much better that'll give us a little bit of leeway on what we need to do okay so while all that is running let us go and get more iron and we can make some belts that's the next thing to do on our little venture here. Venture, adventure, whatever you want to call it, it is good. Ah, but we should not do all of these yet. Hold on. Let's go grab some gears. Oopsies. There we go. Lots of belts. Okay. This is finished. Oh, nanobots, yeah. Oh, our rock chopping days are almost over. They're going by the wayside. So the beginning of the game doesn't have a lot of uh, the biter stuff uh, until you actually get to biters. Uh, we're going to try to go into finding these biters sooner rather than later. Uh, because the modules you can use are extremely powerful. They're really, really good. Um, and they level up as you kill more biters. So it's highly advantageous to get these things going. Okay, I'm just going to put two drills here. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, come on. Work it out. Get it, get it better. All right, let's get our more belts made. Next time we go down, we'll drag the power poles with us. Okay. Got 85 gears, which is pretty darn good. Oh no, we ran out of coal. How can we run out of coal? Here, take this. I know there's there are some with lots and lots of coal here. Here's one. Yep. 
There we go. Better. And there we go. Need lots more belts. And we will drag the power poles down here to the coal patch and just get these automatically fueled. Oh no. Come on, thing, behave. There we are. Oi. I just keep tripping on the rocks. There we are. All right, let's take these guys all the way out here. All right, that's one thing automatically done. Glad to have it so. All right. And okay, how are we doing over here on stuff? We need some more copper in here. I guess we could use some more iron plates. So I'll take half of this, put the other half in there. Let's also give this to the gear maker. Why not? Just because we kind of need it. Now, I have gotten out the blueprint for our starter base, and I think it would be kind of beneficial to get that set up. Let's look at the map and figure out where we want this bus to go. I have completely forgotten the rest of the map. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe we should have... Um, could have smelting starting out over here and maybe have the bus go south, or we could have the bus go left... That might be interesting. I haven't had a bus go left in quite a while. I remember my ribbon world went left. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Just just because we would like to go left. <laughs> no other reason. We don't see any uh, impediments, so I don't think it's really that bad. All right, we got... Uh, this is from the Big Bags, Big Bags mod. It's basically a long reach thing, but since we already have long reach, we don't need to get this. Inventory would be good, but I'm looking for something like military because we need to start getting... Defending ourselves. I'm kind of worried. I mean, this pollution is not going to stay confined to our zone forever. Uh, speaking of, let us make a radar right now um, and maybe make some more firearm magazines to go with this. Okay, let's get this radar set up and see what it's going to reveal to us. Is it going to scan outside the starting zone? Yeah, it should. Uh, because it is quite close to the rest there. I think... Let's see. Yep. Let's put our starter base below where we want to go. Let's put it around here. Uh, we want to have... Let's have the ore coming from the top here. I think that would be the most beneficial thing here's our blueprint wow we need to we need to do a lot of stuff to fill in here but it should be okay once we get everything going this is the one that has the extended production of miners and all kinds of other stuff like that and uh, so it should be just fine this is the copper line we have lots of iron ones and just a little bit of copper okay there we go Military is done. Yay. Uh, electronics. Um, hmm, nanobot speed. Nanobot range. I kind of want bullet damage. I mean, I'm ready for this. This is... We are going to have some very interesting times with the biters soon. Okay. Let's move on. Grab things like gears. Got our gears and get... Oh, we need these. I, wow, we're crafting all these things. I was like, really? No. I have... I only have four? What? Wait a second there. I kind of still want those. <laughs> I kind of still want those. This ran out of... Oh, it ran out of... What? Oh, it has to output to a box? Really? All right. I'll make it output to a box. I thought it would keep on going, but apparently it doesn't. That's uh, interesting. Okay, I kind of want more gears. Let's go up and get some more iron. But uh, we can start very soon having iron in... Uh... Oh, I have tons and tons of coal here. There we go. Okay. 
And let's keep on building this thing. Oh, I need my splitters. Oopsie, there we go. I think I had my hands on the wrong keys there. Now this is basically a long smelting line that leads to these various maker things. We have a uh, power pole maker, we've got gears, uh, not gears, uh, copper cables into green circuits. And then we also have things like splitters and undergrounds, inserters, uh, and gears and belts. And this is all for red and green science as well. And then we have assembly machines and mining drills. And I think these were for grenades, if I am not mistaken. So, but what we want to do is we definitely want to get stuff going and just start smelting something here. All right, let's make some more belt. It is very handy to have those gears already made. Saves us a lot of time. Um, but we are going to have to get coal over there as well. Which I don't know how that's going to go, but we'll see. Let's get those made. Get these into our inventory. Let's go ahead and take our power poles over this way because we're going to need them at some point. Oopsies. Hello. All right, there we go. We'll put some in the beginning of this initially. And then here, let's take these guys up the line. There we go. Might have an extra one there. Is this an extra? Yep, it is. Okay. So we can just safely take that one out. Now here I would really like to have some inserters. Let's get these going. And I'm thinking at the end of this, I probably just need to do my uh, nanobots. Okay, so what I would really want to do is just grab this. This is going to be iron. Wow, and maybe, <laughs> maybe it's going to be iron. We'll see. And what we can do with this uh, mixed area is use the um, priority function on the splitters in order to um, get some of that sorted and separated here. Wow, so many rocks. Oi. There's one here. The majority of the iron, I or the majority of the product, I would like to be iron. So as long as it's overlapping... There we go, like this. We're gonna take this this way. Of course, this is completely not the line that I took. <laughs> I just And I want it to be straight. Well, can we get past here? No, of course not. Even though the little red box only shows that it's um, extending to a certain state, it insists on sort of taking the whole room for itself. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do, we're going to be a little bit sneaky and just save belt and say, uh, you're going to have output priority to the right, which is going to be copper. Okay. It's going to go here. I might be cutting it a bit close here, but it'll be okay. Oopsies. Um, put this here like that, I think. And that should be just fine. Well, actually, this could be straight. What am I doing? Okay, this is going to be coal in here. Uh, and that's going to interact with these two guys. But uh, until we get coal, we're not going to really do much with this, unfortunately. Okay, let's take this down. Okay, and here we are with this. This one, there we go there. Inserters. I'm trying to figure out how these guys interact across here. Aha, there we go. That's looking good. Okay. So these should be connected. Ah, they are. They are very much indeed connected. Okay, so these guys are producing the majority so far is iron. Perfect. That's what we wanted. All right, and we don't have any the other stuff yet. But we do need to get our, our stuff going on here. I will start also this gear machine. 
Let's turn it on, make sure that we have power here just to get this going, because why not? It's a good thing to have all this stuff going. All right, bullet damage is done, one of them at least. Um, yeah, we need green science for the rest. Stone walls, steel processing, electronics. Walls are good. Oh, no, no. Turrets are even better. <laughs> Let's do some turrets. Oh my god. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, turrets are good. Okay, so this, ah, does not have the output yet. Okay, and then this one goes this way. And I also will put in some inserters here. Okay, right, good, good. Okay, I feel like I definitely should get um, nanobots made. I really want to get nanobots made. But we also need coal. Now coal is going to be a little bit iffy. I think we can just take it on this side. But man, we need a lot of belts. See if there's any. Let's get this. Got some circuits. We're missing copper. Okay, it's fine. See, wrong key. There we go. Turn it around. Let's take this up. Ah, perfect. Let's just go this way. Nice. Up, up, up. And we will take this here. That's where it belongs. Okay. Oh, ran out of belt. Very close. Very close, though. Oh, should we catch some fish? We might need to catch some fish, actually, to, uh, to survive. There we go some fish there we go nice i should get install a fish uh fish fishing mod there are fish farms um and then ones that catch them from the sea as i recall those are quite funny okay so now we have stuff i hope please please not yet okay the coal hasn't made here here quite yet um i'll just do it this way just because it's part of the blueprint there we go Okay, this goes this way and I need more belts I think I need more inserters too how many do I have oh I have 27 that's quite a lot that should be good for a little while but I do want to get these belts set up that's going to be quite important okay I need more of those but I love that uh, that ghost replace mod has been made into these guys. This is so nice. Let's go and collect some more iron up here. And as these guys are running down, I don't really have any desire to fill them with coal unless I happen to have some extra coal. These are guys, uh, yeah, they are making some copper. I don't know if any is on the line. None of it is on the line yet. That's quite surprising. Well then. All right, here we go. Let's get this going. Move this along. There we are. Nice, nice. Perfect, perfect. All right. I probably would have spent that better putting it on um, another area, but that's okay. Um, I want to put in a miner here just for copper to be having some kind of production here um, but in reality I want to make sure that this belt is prioritized uh, when we're going for that so we're gonna just we'll, we'll get we're gonna get there very shortly though so it should be just fine but we definitely need a lot more inserters how's our gear factory doing is it okay oh good okay so these guys need to make some of these too some fast inserters so we can get everything on the road but man, this is starting to look really good. It's like, okay, yeah, this is this is so far a good start. I'm really quite pleased about this. Oh yes, we're doing really well. So let's just finish off this row. Get power poles on here. 
I think. There we go. Nice. Looking good. Okay. Looking very, very nice. And then we need we really need to just get more miners now. I think we're gonna get more miners. Okay, let's just make those. How many do, oh we need circuits for those. Oh no. We have no circuits? No. We do have a lot of iron though. Uh, and I think we're gonna need that in forms of belts stuff, but I would like to get everything sorted too. I think I'm gonna put some of this iron in here. There we go. But we also need a lot of copper which we're not getting for the moment. Go ahead and get these guys. Go and grab those. Ah, now we're getting a little bit of copper on this line. That's good. Ah, oh, we don't have splitter. We need splitters. Come on, splitters. All right. And now we need automation too, which I think, do we need, um, I think we need green science for that. So we're a little bit out of luck for the moment. Let's, let's go ahead and put some more miners on iron. It's time for it. Let's go. Time to start loading up the belts, getting things made, and stop relying on the burners, because we are done with that. Totally done. Okay, there we go. Okay, more miners. I need more miners! Please. Game, give them to me. Yes. Uh, I think we'll just add this in. Um, once we get to a number of miners that will saturate the, the belt, we'll probably separate the copper up here instead. There we go. Starting to look really good. Okay, let's get these guys down so we have greens made automatically. This is going to be good. Oh, I'm so excited about this. So good to get stuff running and working and uh, getting made. Okay, and then we also need our belt making factory. That's going to be quite important. Of course, I don't have any. Oh, no. I. Oh, no, I didn't put any iron in here. The sadness is real. Okay, let's go up here. I think I'll take some from the uh, these guys. Oh, there aren't any in these. Wow, okay. We're actually using stuff, maybe, somehow? Somehow, magically. All right, I want some. Give me assembling machines. Let's go. Bullet shooting speed is done. Yeah, logistics too. Uh, no, 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 no. I want um, this automation too. Okay, so we just need electronics for that. And that'll be getting going soon. Clear out these wonderful lines of stuff that we have. Come on, give me, give me, give me. Okay, make you make gears. Oopsies, no. This is good. We are starting to produce stuff. Okay. And we're getting there. We're getting there very slowly, but I think this is probably a good time to end the episode because we've gone on for quite a while now. <laughs> so I otherwise I just keep on playing and playing and playing this highly addictive game. So we have a good start. We have done a lot of our starter base. We are getting there. We just need to make more miners uh, just to fill up these belts and finally get this thing into major production. We probably want to add a few more coal drills because it is uh, getting a bit sparse here. In fact, let me allocate most of it toward um toward power uh speaking of power we can also uh, get more of these steam engines running they are not uh well they're only going at like a third or a quarter of maximum so we're doing good on power but otherwise um, I think this is uh, time to say goodbye. So I hope you're as excited about this series as I am. Maybe we can find some biters. Hopefully the radar is going to keep on scanning and, and we'll find some. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.